welcome everybody. We're gonna get started. I'm gonna ask my assistant Peterson to share his screen where we've got the slides. Wonderful, okay, he's gonna get that in present mode. Very good, all right, so welcome to Jumping Into Action with CCL, let's get started. I am Ellie Sparks, Director of Field Development, and I started the first CCL group in Virginia 10 years ago, that was Richmond. I am the mother of two young adults, grandmother of a two-year-old, and also a regenerative farmer. So first, I am curious to find out what you want to get out of our session today. So I imagine that you want to figure out how to best match your skills and talents to specific tasks and projects within your CCL group. You may be looking for what you could do at the state level with CCL, and I know you want to pass the Energy Innovation and Carbon Dividend Act as soon as possible. So if any of these resonate with you, then you are in the right Zoom call. What other things do you want to get out of today's session? Please go to the chat and type those in right now. And I see people already answering. And so Rita says, she wants to give something for new members to do. Awesome, you are in the right place. What do you wanna get out of the workshop? So chat, if you don't know, you can find it at the top of your screen or at the bottom. There's three little dots sometimes if you've got your screen minimized. Eleanor says, set a goal for the next few months at either the city or state level. Awesome. What do you wanna get out of our time together today? How can I get a co-sponsor from Nebraska? Oh, I love that question. We will be looking at the five levers. You're in the right place for that. Anybody else want to put something in the chat? What do you want to get out of the workshop today? Looking to start up a Central Illinois chapter. Oh, wonderful. Definitely. I love that. Get some strategies to start helping my local branch. These are all great. You guys are in the right place. I want to be able to get over my sense of overwhelm. Yes, yes, yes. Explore where my skills may be best placed. Understand what are key leverage points and how I can contribute. How can my skills help the organization? So you are all in the right place. Feel free to continue popping those in there. Let's go to the next slide. So in order to figure out what you can do in your CCL group to motivate Congress to lead on climate solutions. Oop, one slide back. You need to know three, a bunch of slides back. Uh, three things. First, how CCL groups structure their work. Second, what activities are done within this structure. And third, what assets, talents, skills, and connections you bring to the effort. With that awareness and information, you can determine how to jump in and help, and you could deter help others jump in. So first, let's consider how CCL groups organize projects and activities. Now, if you've been around CCL for any length of time, you may have heard about the five levers of political will. Here's a little history. In 2013, our Texas volunteers had been having regular meetings with their members of Congress for several years. Our volunteers felt frustrated by the lack of progress. It seemed to them, many of whom were engineers, like a lever was stuck. They decided that if one lever seemed stuck, they might pull on some other levers to get movement in Texas. Our volunteers reviewed the various activities underway, writing letters to the editor, tabling at community events, giving talks to club and faith groups, holding monthly chapter meetings, researching members of Congress, scheduling meetings with local leaders, and they organized these activities and others into five categories they dubbed the five levers of political will. I see these levers fitting together like a puzzle. So next slide, Peterson. So let's consider the pieces of the puzzle and how it relates to the other pieces. So um, first off, Marshall Saunders started C CCL in 2017. Oops, uh, you want us on slide seven where we have group development all by itself. We're gonna consider group development first. At some point over the past 13 years, someone in your community started a local CCL group or maybe they haven't yet and you might be the one. Perhaps that happened years ago, or maybe just in the past six months, someone 
does the work to build and sustain a group, and we call that group development. Next slide. Among the first things a group does is lobby Congress. It's in our name. After all, Citizens Climate Lobby, we ask members of Congress to solve the climate crisis in general, and we ask them specifically to sponsor the Energy Innovation and Carbon Dividend Act. So next slide. Right away, a new group will start talking to people in the community. They introduce community members to the bill and invite them to join the CCL group. Before COVID, we would set up tables at community events, attend climate marches with our clipboards, give talks for civic and faith groups, and host community seminars. These days, we find creative ways online and by phone to reach out to friends and family members, coworkers and neighbors and community members, and we call that grassroots outreach. A CCL group will ask all of those people to contact Congress, and this amplifies our message. Please solve the climate crisis, Congress. Please sponsor the Energy Innovation and Carbon Dividend Act. People start writing letters, sending emails, and calling Congress. Grassroots outreach helps to amplify our lobbying Congress efforts. Media comes next in the CCL puzzle. When a newspaper publishes pieces endorsing the bill and those articles and letters to the editor land on Capitol Hill, members of Congress begin to see political viability for sponsoring the bill. When social media highlights CCL volunteers and others calling for action, Congress takes note. CCL groups put energy towards letters to the editors, human interest stories, and newspaper endorsements. We focus on print media, social media, TV, and radio. Hearing from local respected leaders makes a disproportionately positive impact on a member of Congress. We call that grass tops engagement, and we've got that among the CCL puzzle pieces. A CCL group will identify and speak to civic, faith, education, sports, tribal, nonprofit, and business leaders. Those people lend their voices to the effort to influence their members of Congress. The work done to build awareness through grassroots outreach strengthens the efforts made in grass tops and media. All arrows in our puzzle point to lobbying Congress because we want Congress to pass impactful climate legislation that dramatically and decisively reduces greenhouse gas emissions and protects low and middle income families. Like a small business or a very dynamic family, these pieces fit and flow together thanks to teamwork. All right, so Right now, we're going to do a basic CCL volunteer action. We're gonna sign up for it. Staff members in congressional offices tell us that a steady daily drumbeat of phone calls makes a big impression on a member of Congress. We've created a system, actually our volunteers in Texas, again, innovated for us, to remind each of us to call our member of Congress once a month. I made my calls two days ago. We call that the monthly calling campaign. We've got suggestions for what you say on the call. We remind you with an email or a text. If you are ready to enroll in the monthly calling campaign, type yes into the chat right now. So go ahead and type yes into the chat if you are ready to enroll in. Ooh, yay, 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 woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I see all those yeses. All right, perfect, perfect, oh, I love it. Wonderful. Okay, so Tony, I'm going to let those yeses flow for a moment. There's our next slide. So there is the web address. Tony is going to pop the link in there again. Oh, all right. Wayne, I'm glad you're already enrolled. Anybody else who is already enrolled, I want you to grab your phone and text two or three people inviting. Just anybody on your phone list. Mom, uh, brother, old college roommate, I don't care. If you're already enrolled, Right now, take this next two or three minutes to invite other people, send them by text the link, challenge them to join up. Okay, so you've got the link. Uh, you, anyone can, well, let's see, if you're not a U.S. citizen, um, if you live in the U.S., you certainly can participate. 
you're welcome to do so. I don't think it would work so well if you live outside of the US. So pick your state where you live, use your address. Okay, click on the link, cclusa.org slash MCC for monthly calling campaign. Click, uh, show us the next slide there, Peterson. You all will have a screen that looks like this over on the right-hand side. Uh, you will see a space where you enroll in, oops, back a slide there. Where you, there you go. Over on the right, you'll see name, first name, last name. How do you wanna be reminded? I like to be reminded by text because then I just click on the link and I make the call right there. I'm telling you two minutes, I timed it the last time I did it two days ago, two minutes. All right, so click on the link, enter your information. If you don't know your congressional district, there's a little button in the form. You can click on that. It has you put your zip code, maybe your zip code and your address. That will help you figure out your um, congressional district. Then you pick that, then you enter. So that is all you need to do. You are enrolled. You, I deputize you and empower you right now to invite anyone else. Not right now, we're gonna go through some more things, but when you're sitting around watching TV, scrolling on your phone, invite, invite, invite people to sign up all across the country. So thank you all for doing that with me. Woo -woo. All right, next slide. We're going to dig in a little bit more with what the other levers look like. What are the activities? that, oh, okay, good questions. Hang on, we'll time out on the questions. Do you try to call during office hours? Not necessarily. You can call anytime. I, every time I call, I'm getting a voicemail anyway. If you're calling on a Saturday or Sunday, that's fine. If you're calling at midnight, that's fine. You leave a voicemail. Here's another tip. Start off saying, like I would say, hi, I'm Ellie Sparks. I live in the district. This is my address. I am calling about solving the climate crisis or I am calling about climate change. So right up in that first sentence, you say you're a constituent, you live in the district and you're what you're calling about. And then you can go on to say, you know, it, you might be thanking them for being a co-sponsor of the bill and asking them to reach across the aisle. You, they might not yet be a co-sponsor. Uh, it's a, so you might be asking them in this last month of this current Congress, step out, be bold and be, join up as a co-sponsor. All right, good. Okay, so let's go. We're gonna go through the levers again, but this time look a little bit more at what you'd be doing as a volunteer within that lever activating that. So let's start with group development. The group development team welcomes new volunteers, orients new volunteers, inviting them to join specific projects in the other levers. On this team, you may call chapter members to check in on activities and remind people of upcoming meetings. You would certainly enroll them like I've done now with you in the monthly calling campaign. You might pair up new members with old timers who can show the newbies the ropes. These folks organize social gatherings on Zoom these days and help with monthly meetings. Our director, Mark Reynolds, says we're betting the ranch on relationships, and that includes the relationships we have with each other. And that's the responsibility of group development. All right, so we jump back to the top of our CCL puzzle with lobbying. If you join the lobby team, you and a small group of CCL volunteers will meet virtually with your members of Congress and congressional staff throughout the year. You might drop by and greet staff members in their district office. Policy staff in DC understand policy issues. Local staff understand the personalities and local connections of their boss. So relationships in both locations help. Now you will ask them two things. One, would they co-sponsor the Energy Innovation and Carbon Dividend Act or one of our supporting ask bills? Two, who do they need to hear from in order to sense a growing desire for their leadership on climate solutions? You share what you discover or discern with others in your chapter in confidence your group can then customize the political will and activate the levers of media, grassroots and grass tops in ways meaningful to your member of Congress. If you join the grass tops team, you will work with volunteers doing various tasks, including researching possible influencers, opening doors to those leaders, building relationships, 
securing endorsements, and then nudging those community leaders to speak directly to their members of Congress. You might ask your lobby team for guidance in order to find endorsers who can make the biggest impact. They might suggest fishermen or farmers, small business owners or heads of industry, community or tribal leaders. Our business climate leaders action team can give you resources for engaging various industry sectors. Tony, would you put the link to the business climate leaders action team in the chat, please? Now don't get distracted, but if you wanna click on that, if this is kind of an area of focus for you, grass tops, business climate leaders. All right, on the media team, your media strategy will address the political realities of your district. If you're like me and you have large rural areas in your district or state, you might target small rural newspapers with your letters to the editors and op-eds. A small team of you might meet with editorial page editors to seek their endorsements of the Energy Innovation and Carbon Dividend Act. You might pitch a story to a newspaper or TV station about an interesting chapter member or a local respected leader calling on climate action, and you would tie that human interest story back to the bill. Now, Tony, would you put the link to the media training page in the chat? All right, awesome, thank you. Our grassroots efforts help to give voice to those who care about climate. A 2019 study from the Yale Program on Climate Change Communication said that two thirds of Americans, 66% are at least somewhat concerned about climate change. Grassroots volunteers recruit people to call their members of Congress on a monthly basis. You already signed up for our monthly calling campaign. And some of you have invited friends to join, keep doing that. Move right on through your context list on your phone, inviting people across the country to join you in the monthly calling campaign. And all of us can do this and that's the case with many of our actions, we can do more than one action in more than one lever. Presentations play an important role in grassroots. Our presentation volunteers work as a team. Some volunteers schedule the presentations, other volunteers give the presentations, and other volunteers might engage in networking opportunities at these events. Almost all of us speak informally to our friends, family members, neighbors, and coworkers giving micro presentations on the bill, including finding creative ways to reach potential supporters online these days. We all help educate, persuade, and build a vocal majority of citizens to empower Congress to move forward on climate. And uh, this work continues despite the pandemic. Tony has put in the chat for us our presenters and schedule action team link, wonderful resources there, training <laughs> for schedulers and training for presenters as well. All right, so next slide. We have passed through the levers now twice. I'm curious to find out which one or two or all of them you feel most drawn to. So in the chat, type the lever that appeals most to you. Now, if you came on saying, I wanna help group development, oh yay, that's someone who would be helping with this exact kind of work, helping others find their home. Grass tops, grassroots, lobbying and grassroots, grassroots and media, work up to lobbying, media, group development, lots of lobbying, grass tops, grassroots. Oh, wonderful, wonderful blend. You see how it is, it's a team and uh, uh, says media, Josh. <laughs> Wayne says group development, wonderful, lobbying media. This is great. So this is how it works in a chapter. We all are doing a little bit of something here, working on these levers together, um, building out a team. Good, good. Zoe says grassroots. My primarily focus is grass tops. Okay, great. Feel free to keep entering those. We're going to do one more exercise. So in this exercise, we will open doors for each of us to make a bigger contribution to CCL without a lot of worry or effort. And uh, let's see some thumbs up if you're up for that. I wanna see your faces. So I'm gonna change my view so I can see you all. So thumbs up for a little activity, a little speed writing activity. So you'll need to grab something to write with, piece of paper, pencil, pen. Maybe you're good at clacking on the 
computer, that's fine too. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna flash some questions to you. You are, I'm gonna give you my example of an answer. You're gonna write down your answer. Uh, we're gonna go relatively quickly through those. So as I read these questions, just write the first thing that comes to mind for you. And um, if you have time, you can write a bigger response. That is fine. So let's get started with that first question. Question one, what do you really care about that brought you to CCL and climate change? So for me, it's my children, Sophia and Peter, and now my grandbaby, Isabel. And it's also a sense of purpose. I feel like I was put here to repair the relationship between people and the planet. What do you really care about that brought you to CCL and climate change? You can write that down or type that down. And uh, question number two, and I want you to actually write this on something that you can keep for yourself later uh, because uh, these are just, I want you ha to have them handy. So not for right now, don't worry about the chat. We'll use the chat it's in a minute here. All right, so on your piece of paper or on your own computer, answer question number two. What is one of your passions outside of CCL? So for me, that is regenerative agriculture. That's one of my passions. I also love to dance and I love live music. What is one of your passions outside of CCL? I've given you three of mine. You can give more than one. What is one of your passions outside of CCL? Write that down on your paper or whatever document you're typing into. Alrighty, question three. What's your special skill or expertise? Please brag here, pat yourself on the back. We are building a team and it really helps to know what you do well. Um, uh, I, I like to present, you can kind of tell that. I write poetry. Hmm. I have enjoyed writing letters to the editor because poetry for me is kind of like letters to the editor or actually vice versa. What's one of your special skills or expertise? Don't be modest, pat yourself on the back. It'll help us in building out the team to know what people are good at doing. All right, Ooh, oh, there we go, thank you. This question number four, what other groups do you belong to? Civic, faith, neighborhood, education, professional. I'm a member of the Virginia Association of Biological Farmers. They have an annual meeting. They're often looking for presenters. They have tabling opportunities. They have a newsletter. They have a similar care about the environment. So what are the other groups that you belong to? These are great opportunities for coalition building, grass tops, grassroots. All right, oh, thank you. Question number five, do you like to work alone with a partner or in a team? Frankly, I like all three of those, depending on where I am in the project. So how do you like to work? Maybe one or both or all of those. All right, so next question says, we're gonna look at a checklist. I want you to pick three activities you might enjoy, one or two you don't like. So click us onto that checklist there, Peter. Yep, awesome. So first column, chatting with strangers, with familiar people, speaking publicly, presentations, town hall questions, writing, letters to Congress, to the editor, social media posts. That second column is kind of events oriented, planning events, hosting. Those are kind of two different things, I think. Designing flyers, social media, I wish I was good at that. Organizing information, volunteers, data entry. I'm terrible at data entry. Please find me a partner who likes data entry. I love to host. I do not want to be the general when planning, but I will be a sergeant in the army, so. Uh, next column, research, online related topics, outreach, calling or emailing, social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, any of those technology, teaching, we all can learn something and then teach it, or we might already have the knowledge or skills and we can teach, and uh, networking. All right, so next slide. You have learned about the levers. You have inventoried your skills, your assets, your connections and capacities. Use the chat. What is one way you could jump into action with CCL that would delight you and move us forward? So for me, it is to build a team to get letters to the editor to uh, the rural newspaper. So answer this question. I might, go ahead in the chat, I might build a rural LTE team for my district. All right. 
something specific that you might do. So this is a little deeper than the in general, which lever. Oh, Bob says I might distribute CCL yard signs. Betsy says chatting, chat with friends and organize them and others. Dorel says I might involve students. Oh, wonderful. Present to local organizations, write letters to the editor for high country news. Oh, can't, oh, I didn't see what that question was. I might get more involved with my universities, organize and volunteer, educate students. Oh, for those of you looking to work with students, Clara Fang, please reach out to Clara Fang, Clara at citizensclimate.org. Letters to the editor, uh, analyze data, might write more letters, organize my chapter to have a more of an online presence. Oh, beautiful. These are all wonderful. These are all beautiful. Deeper understanding of the carbon bills. Yes, we, it helps to have people who really like to dig into the policy. I love seeing that. I might host local events to raise awareness. That's beautiful. Connect with a local chapter and help with research and organizing. Wonderful. Work with teachers and students at a local level. I can also do that data entry. Nice. <laughs> I went to on my team. Get family members engaged. Oh, beautiful. Work with students. Build strategy for building bipartisan support. Oh, these are all wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. All right. Beautiful. Oh, more research and writing and design, research information, share with others. Beautiful. All right. So uh, what here's my uh, suggestion for you for next steps. You've written these things down. You have a sense about where you want to go. If you are not the group leader in your chapter, then go line up a phone call with your group leader, Zoom call, whatever, 20 minutes, something like that, and run through uh, the answers to these questions and what your thinking is about where you might be of service within the chapter, what action you want to take, whether it's a specific action or a leadership action or taking on a project, starting a project, have this kind of a conversation with your group leader. And I want you to know the chapters are of all sizes. We have giant chapters that have been around Cincinnati, Salt Lake City, our San Francisco Bay chapters, big, highly structured, organized with committees around the five levers. And we have other teeny tiny chapters with one person and their spouse in the chapter. So the other thing I want you to do is when you're having that conversation with the group leader is to find out where the chapter is and what does the chapter need and how, if it's a teeny tiny chapter, can you support the group leader in particular who is trying to get this machine running and going? Now, I'm also going to invite you if you like, uh, that's fine if you registered either chapter works for um, how do you find the group leader? That's a good question. You can email your group, which you can find the list of the groups on the community, on the CCL website, citizensclimatelobby.org. And then you'll find your group and each group has a website. You can also join CCL by, and, and you probably should then be officially joined if you've come to this conference. And that would put you in the loop and let the, um, group leader know about you. And if you do not hear from them, email membership at citizensclimate.org. All right, so I am going to wrap things up for us um, with reading a poem. I love poetry. I think I mentioned that. There's a poem by Mary Oliver, a great American poet uh, called The Journey. And for me, it speaks to the journey I embarked upon to solve the climate crisis. One day you finally knew what you had to do and began, though the voices around you kept shouting their bad advice. Though the whole house began to tremble and you felt the old tug at your ankles, man, my life, each voice cried, but you didn't stop. You knew what you had to do, though the wind pried with its stiff fingers at the very foundations Though their melancholy was terrible, it was already late enough and a wild night and the road full of fallen branches and stones. But little by little, as you left their voices behind, the stars began to burn through the sheets of clouds. And there was a new voice, which you slowly recognized as your own, that kept you company as you strode deeper and deeper into the world, determined to do the only thing you could do, determined to save the only life you could save. I wanna say, I look forward to seeing your impact on our collective efforts to save the only planet we could save. Thank you everyone for joining us. 
Thank you for listening to this episode of Citizens Climate Lobby's training program. You can tune into more episodes anywhere podcasts are available. Inspired by what you heard today? Join Citizens Climate Lobby to advocate for bipartisan climate solutions. Go to community.citizensclimate.org to find more trainings, resources, your local chapter, national action teams, discussion forums, and more. Be sure to like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Citizens Climate. We also invite all of our listeners to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more inspiration. And together, we are creating the political will for a livable world.